Check, check. <coughs> check, check, check. <coughs> Alright, Sagan. Enough's fucking enough. I gotta make a video. I'm tired of your fucking bullshit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna give some context to this. But... You read the title. You know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. Why am I even going over this? Let's get started. Damn. Demonetize. Oh shit. I don't make money. All right, we're good. All right, so. <clears throat> so I had found, I'd found a few great hashtags uh, with a little bit of, more like a lot of cringe, let's be honest. Um, this isn't your normal type of cringe. This is a little bit different. This is, this is mystic cringe. This is, <sighs> yikes. So, <clears throat> let me, let me get this in a better fashion. There we go. Kick, you get the pedestal today. <clears throat> so, whenever you look at the hashtag occult, uh, it's usually just overloaded with a shit ton of models and things like that, which, I mean, is great. They're getting all that hashtag magic, hashtag Scotland, Wicca, occult, Wicca, <laughs> whatever that is hashtag hippie vibes free spirit witchcraft fucking audience um but as you go through they get uh some of them get weird like uh this one which is pretty interesting yeah there's a dead animal in the fucking middle that's actually pretty great if i i wish i had witnessed that all whoo <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh man, I think this is actually making me sick. So, five signs your spirit guides are guiding you. Number one, you see numbers, which I guess now this all applies to you. Uh, you notice patterns, which funny enough, that we as human beings already just notice patterns. That's that's what we have a habit of. It honestly fucks us up. Um, if I keep flipping a, he uh, a coin over and over and I get heads 10 times in a row, um, is it more likely that I'll hit heads again? If you answered yes, the answer is no, because it's still 50%. It's still a heads or tails uh, thing. Um, spirit guys don't really seem reliable from this post. Uh, three, your worries take care of themselves. That, that happens, and sometimes they don't. I mean, everything takes care of Things change. They find their new normals and all this and that, so sure. Number four, you have similar dreams. What the fuck is a similar dream? Maybe they mean familiar? I don't know. Maybe they mean... I don't know. Do you have familiar dreams? <laughs> Let me fucking know. You feel protected by the universe. Um, to be honest, uh, back when I had more of a meditation practice and I was doing different things, uh, there is this calmness that you gain and you feel like you're in the midst of this sea of protection, you could say. I don't know. <clears throat> So, automatically, number five fits into, like, anybody doing any of this stuff already. Um, now it's just, like, a, a nice little Boy Scout patch. Six, the right people find you when you need them. Type 1313 if this helped. But, yeah, let me know down below which one of your five signs that your spirit guide you think... Yeah, let me, let me know which ones apply to you, because I'm pretty sure, uh... One, two... Sometimes three, whatever, four, eh, five, eh, six. Uh, that's, how, that's how it goes for me. So I have basically a list of a lot of saved shit. After I get through with that, I definitely want to look up some fresh shit and see what's posted today because these were from like five, six days ago. <coughs> Sorry, guys, it's 4th of July. I don't know if you can hear all the fireworks outside but there is a ton of smoke all over this city and uh it's kind of messing up my uh, throat if you know what i mean everything changes when you begin to love yourself you no longer send out energy of desperation or need to become filled from the outside you become a powerful source within yourself that attracts better the more you love who you are the less you seek validation and approval eh, i can get down with the last sentence uh Everything changes, and then I could put whatever I wanted in there. Everything changes when blah, 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 blah. Um, it's just one of those, it, I call these like Mad Libs. I call them like self-development or like, they're just like dopamine Mad Libs. 
honestly. Like, you read a lot of them, you can just switch it out. They, they almost, like, reflect themselves. You'll see them, like, repeated or, like, with something changed. And, you know, God forbid it's got, like, Buddha, Alan Watts, or um, uh, Rumi as a quote when it, it it ends up not even being one of their quotes. It's <laughs> I think there's a website called, like, Fake Buddha Quotes. Um, hold on one second. Yep, it's a website. If we are like rock and something cuts into us, it will live a mock. This is actually an extensive quote. Okay, so they go actually pretty fucking down into it. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, check out fake Buddha quotes. But yeah, I think I saved a good bit of these uh, dopamine mad libs. Whatever the fuck I like to call them. They just, it's like a feel goody type of thing. Um, when, when going through the, uh, different occult hashtags, you get to see some pretty cool art, I'm not gonna lie. Not really too much cringe. So, I don't even remember saving half of this shit, to be honest. Those last two. Ooh, what's your Hogwarts house, astrological sign, and godly parent? I'm Ravenclaw Virgo Athena. I am a Slytherin. An astrological sign. I got a lot of them. Should I pick one? I'll do my sun sign. I am a Slytherin Virgo. Fuck it, Poseidon. Let me know what you are below. I would actually like to see the different, um... Oh, fucking Christ. When your chakras are aligned as fuck. That's what you are. That's so You align your chakras, and you instantly become that. Your family, your girlfriend, everybody wonders, you know, where, where did Hayden go? Last I heard, he was doing some transcendental meditation. And nobody knows that I'm gone because... When my chakras are aligned as fuck. Yeah. You did your part. You did it wonderfully. You're free. Do I even want to fucking put that in? Why the hell did I do that? The universe sends us exactly what we are ready for at the exact time we need it in our lives. I'm not going over that. Some more cool art. Did I just save every fucking one down the line? And these are pretty cool, I'm gonna be honest. I like that. The shadow self. A dark place within your subconscious mind that contains every taboo thought, feeling, desire, or personality. Trait that you have rejected, buried, or suppressed. All those deep desires that you have about me. Late at night. Right when you've, you've fallen asleep. But you're not quite there yet. You might be in sleep paralysis. You might hear my sweet, soft voice. Um, that's your shadow self. Um, it's not really, not really too shadowed. It shouldn't be buried or suppressed. Um, that's just my opinion. But yeah, sex is cool. But have you ever received emotional support from a like-minded individual who wants to be a part of your growth and development? Another one of those like uh, feel good mad libs, but I, I see where this is. Where, I, I get it, but it's like one of those people that it's like they're like so sex. They, they, it's always that person that like sex isn't a big part of their life, so they like it's like they're like vegan about it. They're like, yeah, sex is cool, but how about doing this? It's like the one person like I don't I don't go out and party or drink, but I'm not that guy that goes around and fucking just like talks about it because I work I work with I work with some people that actually well no. I used to. I used to work with some people that are like that. But it's like, I don't know. I see what they're saying, but it's like... <sighs> let it go. I, I thought that said anal for a second. Let go. Let go and let... Yeah, I read it off wrong to begin with. Let go and let the universe give you what you need. Yeah, uh, I actually... I think, that, I think that's why I made that Twitter post the other day. Sub for sub. Yeah, if you sub me, the universe will send you a sub back. Even even if your subs are private, I'll know who you are and I'll find you because, yeah. Okay, so birth card. Ooh. Write your birth date out as follows. 1989. What is that? Oh, 1989. Fucking Christ. Oh my God, is the cup... Keck is always blocked. You're, I don't want you to be Keck anymore. You're not Keck. You're Ivan. You de you deserve to be Ivan. All right, so 1989. So mine would be zero. Not fuck. I gotta do math. Hold on. 
I have one of those really like bad feelings like I forgot to like record through Ableton or something similar like that or something just fucks up there we go what did I grab my phone for oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right birthday out as follows add the numbers in your birth date to get one number all right so wait I could have done this in my freaking head All right, so I got 146. Take a second to do it yourself. If this number is a double digit, in what case would it not be a double digit? I guess if you were born January 1st, 2001. Um, okay, yeah. So if, you're, if your number is a double digit or adds up to higher than 22, add it again like so. 14 plus 0 equals 14. Okay, so yeah, there's this... If I'm actually having problems with this. This should be simple. Okay, yeah, if your number's below 22, that's your card. You're all done. If it's above 22, add it again like so. So I add this number, like 146, or just those digits? It's a fucking ripoff. Fuck this one. I feel so stupid now. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This did not turn out how I wanted it to be. Um, this was way better in my fucking. <laughs> Never be in a hurry. Do everything quietly and in a calm spirit. Do not lose your inner peace for anything whatsoever, even if your whole world seems upset. <sighs> so heart touching. Um, I, you know, I guess I, you know, I don't, I don't disagree with these things, but. It's, uh, it just, does it give you the feeling? It gives me the feeling. We do not see things as they are. We see them as we are. Boy, am I hard, black, and lit up. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. Someone's going to shit on me for that. I know it. It's going to be great. I wear oils on my skin, honey on my lips, ribbon, crystals in my bra. No. <laughs> I can imagine how fucking painful that would be. I am my own sacred space. Like, dude, imagine like someone like, like m almost like mirrored type of like oiled up honey on your lips. I don't know if you've got sticky shit on my lips is the most terrible feeling. And then crystals in the bra. This is a, this is a, um, that's a, that's a, that's not even serious. This is a joke. This has to be a joke. Repost, what you wicked? Someone's blocking Ivan. I know it. It's like now Ivan's offset. A witch is a woman of power. She is a healer, the medicine woman, the bruja, the mother. <laughs> oh man, they give me a good laugh. Even I'm gonna be honest. I I know. Yeah, I'm I'm not an occultist anymore, but I used to laugh at these all the time. Yeah, just to mention, I have like three thousand screenshots of so much like actual like cringe through like Facebook posts, like people thinking that they're. They're taking videos and pictures of their neighbor's houses on fire and being like, oh my god, there's an angel and a demon battling over there. And like, they were like naming it. They're, they're, I got some good shit, but there's so much stuff on there. And I've wanted to get into I've wanted to get into it for a long ass time. Um, but since there's so much of it, I haven't been able to like just get myself together to actually sift through it to work all that out. So that's why I'm kind of just starting through Instagram just to get it kicked off. Because, honestly, I knew that my first one was going to be shit. Because I've never done something like this. And I can already, uh, I feel like, uh, the real cringe was honestly this video. <sighs> be the moon and inspire people. Even when you're far from full. I don't know why I saved I don't remember. See, half of these I don't. The shadow self, I remember saving that. The, oh my god. Can you feel the shift? We are evolving into more mindful. <clears throat> compassionate. <clears throat> And less judgmental beings. We are becoming increasingly health conscious. We are now environmentally conscious. See, uh, just to start out, they're not like talking about like like actual discoveries. I, I feel like this is a uh, intuition type of post. But going on, <laughs> we are becoming environmentally conscious. And we are remembering our sacred connection to nature. There it is. We are awakening to the realization that we are the only ones possible for our happiness. Uh, I agree that... Okay, we're not the only ones responsible. 
I'm not good. I'm not gonna get on a rant. We are craving more meaning and purpose in our lives, and we are seeking higher understandings of existence. I will not deny that. We all we all wanna we want to know what gives rise to reality. I remember for some reason writing this down, and then as soon as I said it, I was like, "Fuck yeah, it's in there." That was actually pretty cool. See, back in the day, I would have been like, "Whoa, synchronicity," but. I don't know, you know, it's something I wrote, it's something in my head, it's something I'd probably say again. I've probably repeated things throughout this chat. I, no, I have. I definitely have. I got this, I got this. Note to self, you gotta do this for you. This is for you, this isn't about anybody. Live for you, honor you, never lose sight of that. When you're a spiritual person and people think that means you're supposed to be nice all the time and spread that pop version of love and light. Um, I can agree to that. You know, people aren't supposed to take shit. But the people that are just, nope, this isn't a rant video. I gotta cut myself off sometimes. More ascetic crystal art. Yay. Oh my, jeez. What I really mean when I say I'm just going to hang out alone this week. <laughs> Old energy is clearing. New energy is entering. Great things are coming. Be patient. Why did I save some of these? We're going to just... <laughs> what the fuck? Well, he's bulking again. Comment below what y'all think about this fat ass kiss. <laughs> Who is this? I don't even follow this guy. Did he... <laughs> What? Why did I, how did I save this? Is this the end of all my KSI memes? Comment? Memes? New Age! Bam! There it is. New Age. KSI is New Age. Alright, so it's not the end. <coughs> Holy shit! Why am I so nasty today? Crystals for your sign. Okay. Alright. So we're all going to be basically put into 12 groups at the end of the day. Mine is Red Jasper motivates you to take action in the areas of your life that are ripe for improvement. Am I fucking right? Can I get an amen? Let's see if uh, Capricorn would have uh, applied to me. Is it right? Helps you get and stay focused on what matters most. Yeah, it's... I don't know. It's just... Really just open... A lot of interpretation. What fascinates me is that hardly anyone is wondering what we're actually doing on this planet. Most acceptable, mo most accepted, the work, eat, entertainment, sleep cycle as life and have no desire for a deeper understanding of our purpose in this universe. See, this is one of those salty people that has found the fucking answer. And people probably give him shit for it. <laughs> Which, uh... You're probably like, you're probably crazy like Daniel, um, <laughs> which, oh, by the way, I've got a great story about Daniel. We're going to, we're going <laughs> to, we'll get to that next video. We're, we got this one to do. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Back to that photo. This is like, like his spirituality is the spirituality. Even the occultists watching this video know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of them can cringe too with me. <laughs> Be your own bitch. Don't let anyone tell you how to be your own witch. Oh, hey, fucked up. This has to be a meme. It's like, how to be your own witch. All right, it is be your own witch. Don't let anyone tell you how to be your own witch. And it's like... They should have said a witch. Because they're like telling you how to be your own witch. You can be a witch who casts spells or not. You can be a witch that uses herbs or not. You can be a witch that is an activist or or not question everything question what you read online question the gurus question even me learn everything in life seek out truth and blah, 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 blah. I actually remember saying a lot of shit like this back in the day um next sage and dear god but holy hell sage and salt vape liquid Wait, that's room spray. Oh, I'm so dumb. I remember actually saving this one because I thought it was fucking vape juice. 
Oh man, it just has that like background look and everything in the bottle and Oh, you're so stupid. Your heart has an aura. Science has shown that our hearts have a measurable magnetic field and an intelligence. Hear that guys? It has an intelligence. This aura or magnetic field can be felt by others, hearts and brains, and is constantly affecting our environment. It's often called one's inner voice. The Heart Math Institute has shown that when your heart is coherent, stress is reduced, cognitive function increases, and intuition, intuitive discernment increases. Uh, scratch out the bullshit. Well, the whole thing's bullshit, but the, the intuitive discernment increases. That's just, that's just really like, No. Uh, but no, I love how it's like the inner voice. So the inner voice is like your heart, you know, like people's inner voices, like tell them to smoke crack. There's like tons of inner voices that tell people, all murderers listen to the, some inner fucking voice. Uh, this idea that like, and, and this, see, this is why I, I'm going to get in a mini rant. I, just take what I said and just apply it to when people talk about like the higher self, you know, it's the same thing. Either way, your soul has an electro charge which emits a resonant frequency that determines which multi-dimensional bionomic toroid it can nest within the living cosmic ethernet <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> like like oh my god like i get like what they mean like dude they're like they, i don't know how to please you're 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 witnessing this with me please Please fill in what I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm goddamn speechless. I expected to actually be pretty talkative tonight. I'm not going to be honest, but your soul has an electrogravitic charge which emits a resonant frequency that determines which multidimensional bionic toroid it can nest within the living cosmic ethernet. is fucking ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's the hard art. Did I go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wanted to. Uh... No, I don't. I don't want to. No, I don't want to do this. I'm done. Just a fucking picture of a spine. The human body is a self-regulating organism. Yeah, until it fucking dies. Meaning it's programmed to heal itself. Pills only mask and suppress symptoms. The cure lies within you. All that hunger, guess what? It lies within you. Just let that stomach eat itself. Every time that... Fuck, 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 fuck. How to raise your spiritual vi vi vibration. My meditate show appreciation and gratitude you know do be grateful for the fucking oh man be grateful for itself don't be grateful for this better thing it's like it's like the idea it's like the, the there's no such thing as an ascetic idea that uh, this whole selfless sacrifice is done in a selfish manner you're you're wanting it um you uh, whatever give and help others i agree stop watching tv no keep fucking watching me if you're watching me on the tv do not click off uh if you haven't subscribed already go down below <laughs> think you're on thoughts <laughs> spend time in nature stretch and move for your body detox and just plants as food and medicine that's right guys tree bark eat that shit mulch mulch isn't a plant is mulch a plant why am i holding the microphone again is mulch a plant? Oh no. Oh no. That's just the wrong question. I don't even know if tree bark is a plant. Why am I? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm not. I've been. I've been up all damn day. Either way, you breathe consciously, just all the time. Yeah, now I know. There's going to be a comment. As soon as you said that, I started breathing consciously. Relax. Get enough sleep. Walk barefoot. Don't walk barefoot unless you, you want worms or something like that. Or I, I'm i pretty sure that's actually like not so good things for walking barefoot in some places. Um, I'm barefoot right now. Um, so, I mean, I'm already raising my spiritual vibration. Uh, life is an echo what you send out comes back what you sow you reap what you give you get what you see in others exists in you 
Do not judge, so you will not be judged. Radiate and give love, and love will come back to you. Mm, where's my cat? I need a hug. Earth is a realm. It is not a planet. It is not an object. Therefore, it has no edge. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I don't even want to move on to the rest of it. That, that part's just the greatest part. Earth is a realm. It's not a planet. It's not an object. Therefore, it has no edge. If it's not a planet and it's not an object, it's not going to have an edge. <laughs> Flat out. <laughs> oh, ah. Earth would be so more easily defined as a system environment. And you start off with Earth is a realm. You're like, well, it's going to be easily defined as a system environment earth is all it's also a machine but i thought it wasn't an object and machines are objects it is a tesla coil we are just one big tesla coil just this whole realm everything the sun and moon are power okay so how the fuck do the sun and the moon fit into this model because as a flat earther i believe that the sun and the moon were like above the fucking but that doesn't fit into the Tesla coil model. There's, there's no, what's the point? Are powered wirelessly with the electromagnetic field, the ether. This field also spins the celestial spheres with electromagnetic levitation. Electromagnetic levitation disproves gravity because the only force you need to counter is the electromagnetic, fuck, force, not gravity. The stars are attached to the firmament. Oh, oh, fuck, it was a flat earth one. What? I'm done. Uh, I'm, I want to. I want to. I want to make a little side note. So the sun and moon are powered wirelessly with electromagnetic field. Like for you to come, for you to say that, you must believe it for some reason. It's usually because something else said it. Because if you know, a lot of people are like, well, science can't investigate it, or you can't investigate it. Um, if anybody has that type of rebuttal to anything that I say, uh, my an answer usually is. If science or me, if you can't expect anybody to be able to witness it or demonstrate it, then how how do you demonstrate it to yourself? Otherwise, I just, I don't get it. I, I mean, I do get it, but not anymore. <laughs> Earth is a realm attached to the firm. I should have fucking known it was a flat earth thing because that was right there. Oh, that went all over my head. Guys, I've been, my, my brain is fried. God is conscious. So he's not dead. God's not dead. He's surely alive. Actually, I can't put that in this video. I'd get stricken. Not a creator. God is a source of creation itself. If not he or she, it is not independent of you. It is the totality of everything. So when I call myself God, I am not talking about my personal self. I'm talking about the expression of the God self that res that rests inside of me. Now, number one, when people come up to you, whatever your name is, let's say it's Hayden. Uh, they're like, Hayden, you, you answer. It's not like you, when you hear the word God or on TV, you're like, oh, you know, so oh, it's on call. But I, I'm going to go and refer. Oh, I'm a God. <laughs> yo, dude, I'm a. Yo, did you know? I'm a God. Actually, Daniel, Daniel, believe, Daniel says shit like that, to be honest. The verb, the verb, the energy, not the noun. <laughs> Wait, energy is a verb? <laughs> Do you even energy, bro? <laughs> Once you think God is a noun, person, place, or thing. <laughs> a, noun is, a noun is a person, place, or thing. That's what I thought it was. I love how he's like, if you think that God's a noun, or a person, or a place, or a thing. You separate yourself from it, even though apparently at the beginning it's not independent of you. It is the totality of everything. So when this person calls himself God, I'm not talking about a personal self, but the one residing inside of me. But therefore, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Give a few sentences that contradict yourselves. Always. God is not a noun person thing. Once you do that, you separate yourself from it. Bam. No more God privileges for you. Check my fucking God privilege. And immediately become a limited being. That's what separates the believers. That, that petty fucking religion. <laughs> Come on. Am I, am, I, am I fucking right here from the knowers? A spiritual folk. Come on now. Come on. Let's, let me, I need something. 
What the fuck? If we fully understood the power of sexual energy, we would refrain from casual sex. Sex is sacred and to be shared with authentic purity of both partners. Sexual energy is intense and can heal the universe through vibration when two people join together and share their souls together. DNA is exchanged during sex. You imprint yourself on another mindful, on, on another. <clears throat> mindful sex is important. Diane L. Well, Diane L. Um, yeah, you're just like the religious people who suppress sex. Yeah, if people want to have sex, fucking have sex. You want to go have sex? Go go get laid while watching this video. Fucking hell yeah. The answers you seek never come when the mind is busy. They come when the mind is still. Uh, believe it or not, answers come to me when my mind is fucking busy. You just witnessed it. Remember when I pulled this shit out? Yep, my mind was pretty damn busy. And you know what? We all want to know. Quantum intuition explained. Everything is energy. Energy connects everything. So everything connects everything. If everything is everything, it's already connected. It is it is connected. It's at least, I don't know. I don't want to say anything because I don't, I, I, don't, I don't like making uh, crazy, you know, science claims. I, I tried I tried not to. I tried to, I don't know. We're moving on. Side effects of speaking your truth. You heal. Well, I'm speaking my truth. I mean, this is truth to me, so I will heal others, inspire others, and I become a, I become bomb as fuck. I live authentically, and I open my throat chakra. I attract the most beautiful souls, vibrate higher, and attract what you want. You create ripple effect out into the universe. Why I always appreciate your truth, my friend. Yeah, dude, I haven't even thought about going through the comments on these things. To protect your energy. It's okay to cancel a commitment. It's okay to not answer that call. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to want to be alone. It's okay to take a day off. It's okay to not to do nothing. It's okay to speak up. It's okay to let go. What's not okay is wanting to do any of these things to protect your energy, like like your battery's gonna die. Um, see, it's just a misuse of words, to be honest, because, you know, oh, Hayden, you know exactly what they're talking about. Stop being a little fucking prick. Yeah, these people, you know, when you get into the whole energy idea, you start taking some ideas and feelings uh, too seriously. And, well, this isn't a... That's another video. <laughs> We're doing this. Every single thing that has happened in your life is preparing you for a moment that is yet to come. Congratulations. You are watching this video. That's all, all, all that I basically got from this picture was, uh, if I could give you an example, um, is while you're watching this video, you're watching this video and hearing me talk. That's uh, every single thing that has happened in your life is preparing. I mean, it's not like preparing you like, like, like there's something already set. But sitting down has prepared me to be able to turn around. And being close to the drink has prepared me to be able to pick it up easier. Drink it. Having this YouTube channel has kind of prepared me for this moment. So yes, it's true. But it's like you're watching this video and hearing me. It's, it's shit. Ha Why did I save this? Why did I save some of these? Oh, the human being, the end of ego. The great understanding. Cognition. <laughs> the end of the physical universe. The crystal world. The golden world. The diamond world. The absolute... What is this even from? Does the pog jog? That's what I'm going to comment on everyone that I just have... I have no clue. I have no clue what to... What do you do with it? What do you do with this? <laughs> I remember saving this one. <laughs> Our thoughts create a reality. This... I, oh my god, if I could know who painted that, that's, that's a t-shirt right there, that's, that's the fucking merch, right there, our thoughts create, if, see, that's the, see, let me give you a great example, so if thoughts create reality, in this reality, um, if that's how things work, can you give me an example of a universe that our thoughts didn't create reality. Because to be honest, I would imagine that this kind of looks like, you can't really tell the difference. But if I, if, I, if I were to see reality like this right here, like our Mr. Thoughts Creates Reality guy, this, I don't even know who he looks like. 
That looks exactly like what a universe would look like if your thoughts created your reality. Let's all be fucking honest here. Does anything look like that? Nope. It's pretty fucking solid no matter what I think about this desk and all this shit. It's still gonna be this way. Unless I get mad and beat the shit out of everything and fucking break. Actually, yeah, I forgot I fucking <laughs> I took Sackett's pictures down. I should really bring the 4D Holon colon etheric body 5d rainbow electrical 3d temple physical body what i don't know what this is i really don't oh i remember saving this one too so you know like people are like yo so jesus christ is real because there, he's in toast and mary is in like a bull of pasta or something like that um I now have proof that um, Wicca is the true religion because right here we have an obvious picture of the goddess and it's orange. So, I mean, that's this is how evidence works nowadays, apparently. And what, a, what is this? Well, hello, Nico, Nicola. Where did I find this? Mystic. Bam. See what I'm saying? People are posting the most random pictures on fucking... Let's see what is on Mystic right now. Yep, there we go. Young thug right here. This dope. Damn me. <laughs> you just, I'm just going to be like sitting here. Like Jack's, Jack's comment's going to be like, Yo, this is dope as fuck, Hayden. <laughs> Consciousness Friday. ROTD today. Mood. See, I don't get these uh, the hashtags. They're so off, man. Oh, look, so... <laughs> <laughs> Someone tried to fucking wait. They severely fucked up actually because it's not like 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 someone posted this in the middle of it. That should oh wait no 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 I'm a dumbass yeah yeah that should be there. Wow dude I've been pulling oopsies all fucking night. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Oh man oh it's not a joke. Coming to you tomorrow. A diviner among us. Uh, oh here's more here's more oh good old. Good old model and feels. Where, where's her hashtags? Soul guidance. Ooh, that's a good one. That sounds. Mm. Thought that was Boo from Monsters Inc. Ah, uh, it's a bunch of quotes. Nope, not doing that. I like Mystic right now. Why is that the? Okay, whatever. Now, a lot of people's stuff that they sell is on here. Bro. Faded as fuck. <laughs> Wait, a bad trip. <laughs> that was meant to look like that. What is this? Yoga consciousness ritual. Hi, you will enjoy our wellness magazine summer edition. Check it out. Follow your heart, but take your brain with you, and it's a fucking minion. Facts. Listen up, modern mystic. Ooh, enlightenment or modern mystic? What should we do? Hold on, we're gonna ask Ivan. All right, Ivan, I'm going to need you to connect with me right now. This is very, very important. All right. So we're going to go clockwise for modern mystic. And we're going to go counterclockwise for enlightenment. All right, you tell me what to do, bro. Oh, my gosh. I forgot which one. Oh, yeah. Clockwise. was Yeah, modern mystic. See you guys? proof that it did something it was it wasn't it wasn't gonna go one way or the other it could have just stayed still come on now that was cool as fucking you know it <laughs> saturn people with capricorn placements oh man oh though yeah the astrology means those are the cringy ones my god yeah let's follow oh no 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 don't want to follow yeah let's undo that real quick Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll, I'll keep up with their shit. Oh, Sagittarius. Who has two thumbs up and masks their darkness with aut autism? <laughs> who masks their darkness with autism out there? And ends up projecting their dark side onto others who mirror it back, th back them. Therefore, always thinking others are the problem and not their personal denial. You know, you could, like, mix these up and, like, change out Sagittarius for, like, Leo or anything. And, like, they would all fucking fit. Me living it up, not giving a fuck, having a magical time, manifesting the heck out of my life, being happy as possible because none of this is real. And the only person holding you back is yourself. 
Bam. Here, this is this is people. People are very, very close to becoming like modern solipsists, where like it, it's not real. It just feels. Uh, we'll we'll have our own talk about that one day. But uh, you can you can't hate yourself into a version of yourself you can love. Well, okay, great. Where, bro? I've got a great idea. Let's look psychic up. We're gonna find a fucking psychic together. You and me. You, me, and Ivan. Oh, there's nothing good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Remember, I was talking about Daniel believing he was born like the Sirius Galaxy. This is what he's fucking talking about. The Sirius Gateway, July 3rd through 7th. Every year from July 3rd through 7th, a gateway of energy opens between Earth and Sirius, which is known as our spiritual sun, helping to awaken, activate, and elevate us to higher levels of consciousness. Ooh. The idea of soulmates has people think that once they find the one, everything is smooth sailing from there. No, you have to communicate. Face past demons, set boundaries together, build and sustain trust, and weather st storms that two apart. No, 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 no. So the the idea of a soulmate can really fuck you up, or the perfect one, or this and that, because um, it just puts too much stress onto a relationship. I can I can tell you from my experience, from other people's experience. Yeah, uh, yeah, you don't have to fucking listen to me. But if you're one of those people who uh, think that you're with, like, your twin flame, like, I know people say and joke around, and I, I get the idea of what we're talking about. I'm fine with using that analogy. I'm fine with calling my girlfriend my soulmate, which I don't, but I, it doesn't bother me. But the people that actually take it very, very, very seriously, that think they're meant for each other, and uh, you can have really bad relationships from hell, basically, because, you know, they, they think deep down that they have to be together. It, it sucks when, when one of them... Uh, it sucks when both of them think it, to be honest. Ah, let's, let's find some more shit. How old is this? Damn, I've been bullshitting for 50... Dude, none of y'all are here. There's no way any of you guys are here. Dude, I could get naked on this video, and no one would see it. Y'all ready for it? Ooh, we found our psychic. Specializing. Psychic visions, Donna Taylor, reuniting, love and happiness. Master psychic, Donna Taylor, spiritual writer, by People have relied on Donna Taylor to help guide them through life's toughest problems. Where other psychics have fell, Donna Taylor succeed, succeeds. And what the fuck? Donna Taylor. People have relied on Donna Taylor to help guide them through life's toughest problems. Where other psychics... I, I guess she's meaning have fallen. Donna Taylor succeeds. In the most toughest cases, Donna Taylor specializes in reuniting. Reuniting what? Love, happiness, twin flame. Oh, there we go. Twin flame, soulmates. Yep, karmic relationships. Stop unwanted, unwanted divorce. They have. A, oh, she has a number. Oh, dog. This is happening. <laughs> oh no, my phone's at five percent. Everybody, just call the hell out of this number. Just call it until somebody comments and says, "Hey, this number is not that number anymore." It's like it's. Uh, wait. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yes, how can I help you? Hey, I just saw uh, an ad on Instagram. How can I help you? Uh, I was just wondering, I was just wondering what kind of psychic you are. I've never, I've never uh, come to a psychic before. I'm just wondering what I could kind of get, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, it's not free. I charge for my reading. My sessions start at 65 and up. Okay. I wasn't fucking prepared for this. So what kind of readings and, uh, do you do? Well, there's the card reading. It's 65. The tarot cards. There's the psychic reading. It is 75. And then there is the, uh, there's the full life that includes the chakra reading, um, the aura reading. Okay. What is it? Uh, what type of reading are you interested in? I think so. I think the first two you mentioned, I think, was tarot, and then the second one was psychic. I think I might be interested psychic in the psychic. Reading. Yeah, I think I might be interested in the psychic one. You said there was seventy-five. Yes, and then there's the full life, which is ninety-nine on special right now. What uh, is full the life? Is usually the full life is the psychic reading, the tarot reading, the chakra reading. Okay. Okay. So it's like a it's like a package deal, like a bundle. Yes, and it's ninety-nine dollars on special right now. All right. And, uh, usually the with the, the special will be over with tomorrow, and uh, tomorrow at twelve noon. 
And um, the special is usually the normal price for the, for the polite is, uh, sorry, we're driving. You're good. The special for the, the price for the special is usually 390 and okay. I'm having it for Fourth of July for uh, ninety nine dollars. Um, I definitely wouldn't be able to get that now, but I'm definitely interested. Um, I'll probably I need to save up a little bit, and then I can call you back. Are y'all uh, what what okay. state are y'all located in? I'm located in Texas. Ah, never mind. I'm a little bit too far for that. But uh, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give y'all a call back. Okay. All right, y'all take it easy. Doesn't even tell me fucking bye. Oh my god. I actually wasn't really prepared for that. I thought it was going to be like, you know, I don't know why I was assuming. I thought it was just going to be like an answering machine at first and then you like push a number for something to speak with a psychic Donna Taylor or to set up her. Oh man, dude, let's look her up. Let's find this little fucking Donna, 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 Donna plant, Donna Taylor, Donna Taylor. Donatello! Oh my god, it's like she looks like Donna Taylor. Psychic. But yeah, did y'all hear that? That was like, what, $390 for a full life reading? Like, I, if I got one of those, it would apply to everybody. I've actually thought about so the next year's Renaissance Festival. I'd really like to go undercover to the psychic that's there. And I, I, ha I had some ideas. I had some really great ideas of taking that reading that's supposed to be personal to me you know it's a personal life reading and then going out to the psychic subreddit and then you know giving people free readings online and watching how they react about oh my god how, how you got it so right because the these people can be so twisting and dear god you should watch out for it i remember damon a couple months ago you were you were talking on twitter uh, you made a survey like do you believe in real psychics i told you no i think i was the only one that said no it's because of frauds like these that give them a bad name, number one. And number two, um, the people who I would say were of better taste uh, aren't really psychics. Um, and plus, you shouldn't even want to be put into the same boat as these types of frauds. Because this is, see, when you say psychic, this is what should come to your head. Free psychic Q&A. Yeah, we're going to have to do a whole nother video. I would love to fucking do this again. Actually, I'd love to call psychics. But, uh, man, that's too expensive to fucking do. Um, wow. Um, we have to do this again. Um, I think somebody just got home. So I'm going to shut her down because if I start screaming again, um, that's not going to be good. And this video is at 58 minutes. Holy cow. This might not actually be up by Sunday. Um, I work three more doubles until then. This is July 4th. Either way, um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you, if you did, give me a damn like. Subscribe if you freaking haven't. Go down below and tell me something that you want me to just know right now. Like, I want you to think of something. The first thing that comes to your head, I don't care. I don't care what it is. I don't care how disgusting. I don't care how weird it is. I want you to take what you want me to know. Put it right down there. And then after you do that, just go watch my other videos. Either way, at the end of the day, I will for you all to prosper. And have a great day.